to dinner for her birthday, and I told her, and uh, she got up and ate breathless and uh, still had her gown on, but uh, she's getting better. I have to make her do stuff, that's all. Was it their birthday, Crystal? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. The 8th was her birthday, Crystal's birthday. Oh, yeah. Crystal and Leslie's birthday are both March the 8th. Yeah, going to afternoon. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, I'm going out to We hot. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Yes. This is the day mm -hmm. the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Thank you. It's time to wake up and get up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking today. He has something to tell you. We're coming from you from One Lord Memorial Church, Pomona, California. Her mm -hmm. English pastor, Sister jo Joanne English, First Lady. Yes. Hallelujah. Ooh, Hallelujah. I want to say hi to the First Lady. Hi. See, my, I'm waving at you. <laughs> howdy. Howdy. Good morning. Amen. God is good. Say it. God is good. Yes. And it's better than good. Better. What a friend Ooh, we have in Jesus. Thank you. What a mm. friend we have in Jesus. I know most of you know that uh, song uh, you can harm it anyway for some reason i was listening to it this morning it just touched my heart mm. what a friend mm. we have in jesus thank you yes lord he is a friend until the end he will not leave you hallelujah mm. praise his holy name thank you jesus thank you jesus we're going to have a song Scripture reading. We're going to pray. Mm. And after that, we'll have another song. Then we're going to turn it over to the pastor. Thank you. So be ready. Yes, Father. Be ready. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege is to carry. We mm -hmm, think mm -hmm. to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. Oh, because we do not care. We think to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Have we trials and temptations? Is that trouble anywhere? We should never be this courage. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who with all our sorrows care? Jesus knows our every weakness. Oh, take it to the Lord in prayer. Yes, Lord. Oh, we, we weak and heavy lay down. Come, but with the load of care. Precious Savior, still I rest you. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do 
the friend despised for sale. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield Thou will find a soul is there. Hallelujah. What a friend. Take up a friend to Jesus. When what a take friend. Our trials and tribulations to him. We have a friend. Mm -hmm. Everlasting mm -hmm. friend. But leave him, leave him with him. Don't take him there and pick him up and take him back. Leave him with him. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I had my uh, scripture I was going to read. I think it's the 12th chapter of Luke, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's what I wanted. I had it written down there, but I misplaced it. Maybe the Lord didn't want me to read that one. I keep losing it. Maybe that wasn't the one. Okay. I don't know. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Mm -hmm. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Praise his holy name. Thanks you, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's not the one the Lord wants me to read. But I can't find it. Mm -hmm. Let me try it this way. Luke 12. Mm-hmm. Starting at the Luke 12, 16. All right. Luke 12, 16. Hallelujah. I'll read to uh, starting at the 16th verse through the uh, 21st verse. Mm -hmm. Give you a couple of minutes to get there. Luke 12, again at the 16th verse through the 21st verse. Hallelujah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm sure we all there now. And he spake a parable unto them saying, the grounds of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do because I have no room for to restore my fruit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruit and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much good, lay up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. He had it all figured out. Mm -hmm. But God said unto him, I fool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This night, hey! not next week, this night, thy soul Mm. shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that laid up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Let me read that again. Say it. That twin verse said, but God said unto him, thy fool, mm -hmm. this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then, who shall those things be which thou hast provided? <clears throat> so you lay up too much and you leave here. Who, who's going who's gonna to use it? Mm -hmm, You're not mm -hmm. going to take it with you. No. That's what he's telling you. Yes. That's what he's saying. Not yours. Next you came and next you, you're going to leave here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So shall in that, so shall he that laid up treasure for himself and it is not rich towards God. That's what he wants you to do. 
Seek him first. Put him first. You don't have you don't mind you having a whole bunch of things. A whole bunch of money, whatever. You can have a whole bunch of it. Just don't use that though it's yours. And you're gonna take it with you. You don't mind you having it. That's the kind of God we serve. Mm -hmm. But you're not gonna run out of anything. You see, it never leave you. You're not gonna go hungry. My, my. What a mighty God we say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. Yes. First, we want to confess mm. our sins, knowingly and unknowingly, of our omission and commission, Lord. Mm -hmm, Anything mm -hmm. that we omitted, yes, Lord. Anything that's displeasing to you, you want to come in the right manner. Yes, Lord, to holy God with thanksgiving in our hearts. Lord, we thank you for your many blessings. Lord, you've been so good to us. We cannot describe how good you have been. So we want to just take this time to say thank you. Hallelujah. Praise your name. You're worthy of praise. You've been so good to us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord. You kept us throughout the night from any harm or danger. You kept the evil one away. Hallelujah. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. If it hadn't have been for you, if he had if he had his way, we wouldn't have woke up this morning. We wouldn't have awakened, Lord, because he if he could kill us, he would. But he can't. Hallelujah. Lord, we're in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we just thank you, Father God, for keeping us. Thank you for your son, Jesus. While we were yet in our sins, he laid down his life for us. Mm. Suffered a vicarious death mm -hmm. for us, Lord. He had no sin. He didn't have to do it. He laid there. He, had, he said, I have, I have power to lay it down and power to pick it up. Pick it up. up. Hallelujah. So I want to stand out from this. Why don't you, you, you even do it? You, you, you got, you said you was a king. Hmm. If you're a king, uh, why don't you come down off of it? Why, why are you up there? Mm. He was there because he loved us. Yes. He loved us, though. I'm so the, glad. The spikes didn't keep him there. Oof. The nails didn't keep him there. His love for us kept him there. Because he said, I have power to lay Power to stay here, the power to lay it down, the power to pick it up. He didn't have to suffer, but he loved us so. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. He could still believe it, should not perish, but have everlasting life. He made a way for us to be with him forever. What a God, what a, what a God, what a God. Hallelujah. We just thank you for all that you've done. Lord, we lift up all the ones that are sick. Going through sickness and going mm -hmm, through mm -hmm. uh, whatever trials and tribulations. You said in your word that we are going to go through trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. You have overcome the world because this is not our home. We're going to have some trials and tribulations. But then one day it's going to be a place with no more crying, no more dying, no more heartaches. And that just might be worse than mine. Uh, Trials and tribulations you hear, you know it. For eternity, you won't have any of those things to worry about. That's a long time. How long is eternity? Oh, man. That's forever. It might be worth going through some things here. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, we lift up our first lady to you, Lord. Just tell her, just hang on. Mm -hmm. Healing is coming. Hang on. Healing is coming around the corner. Mm. Bless the Lord. Touch it now, Lord. Any pain she might have, Lord. Take it away, Lord. By faith, Lord. By faith. Yes, Lord. Tell that mountain remove. Be removed. Whatever it is, Lord. Hallelujah. If you have faith in the mustard seed, you can tell it and talk to it. If believe it not, doubt it shall be gone. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Stretch the Lord. Continue blessing the pastor. Thank you. Heal his body, Lord. Thank you. You brought him through, Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Hallelujah, mm -hmm. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord. thank Hallelujah, you. Lord. Hallelujah. You got a story to tell, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. 
when the doctor walked by your bed and said, I don't know, I, it's not too much more I can do. Mm. But God, you know, mm. say, move over. He's my but servant. But God. Move over. He's my servant. Mm. Here's what you do. Here's what you mm. do. Do this or do that. Hallelujah. You know he's with him. He's mm. you know, with the doctors all the way. Yes, Lord. Because if they, if he wasn't, and have been with him, they might just gave up. But Lord knows, he still got work for him, though. Hallelujah. Yeah. You don't keep us here because we like to be here on this sunrise and go down. We have work to do, Lord. Keep us around and do some work. There's somebody you need to touch. Somebody only he can touch, Lord. I do believe that. I do believe that's that. Way. Everyone has someone they need to touch. Hallelujah, Lord. We'll continue blessing the entire family, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for all that you've done, all our steps, here, Lord. Start you being short, Lord. You all have a step, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the two or three, Lord. You said, well, two or three gathered in your name, you'll be in the midst, Lord. But you are the majority, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Lord, we pray for this nation. Pray for our leaders, Lord. Yes, Lord. That you would soften their hearts, Lord. Let them know, Lord, that you have all power. They don't have the power that you have, Lord. Soften their hearts, Lord. We pray for the homeless. Yes, Lord. For the displaced people, Lord. Yes, Lord. No place to go, Lord. Hallelujah. Whether there's earthquakes and all kind of and wars and rumors of wars, Lord. Hallelujah. Just the leaders, Lord, just started because they had the power to go to war and not to go, Lord. Lord, you have all power. Pray for your mercy, Lord. Stretch out your hands, Lord, of protection, Lord. Stretch it out and let them know, Lord, that you are able, Lord, to stop them any time, Lord. When you said man's heart is evil and desperately weakened. Only you know the heart, Lord. We'll touch hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Just want to thank you at this time, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your church. Bless the church, Lord. True church. Bless them, Lord. Bless the pastors, the teachers, the preachers, the mm. speakers, the ushers. Yes. Whatever, whatever job mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. do in the body, Lord, is baptized by the Holy Spirit. Because if you gave them the job, Lord, it's, it's good. Just all they have to do is just do it and glorify him, Lord. One day he said, well done, you're a good and faithful servant. Come on in. Whatever position you are, if the Lord gave it to you, it's important to him. Because he gave it to you. Hallelujah. Just do the best you can. And that's all you have to do. Throw away pride is to work for the Lord. Be a floor sweeper. Be a good floor sweeper. God honors that. If he gave it to you, he, he honors that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just don't just want to say thank you, Lord. Come on in today. Bless your word today, Lord. Open up the ears of our hearts, Lord, that we might be receptive to your word, Lord. Not just to be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. Hallelujah, Lord. Just thank you. Bless the message. Bless it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. That you might have the praise and your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Jesus getting us ready for that great day. Oh, Jesus getting us ready for that great day. My Lord, get us ready, ready for, for that great day. day. Oh, who shall be able to stand? Mountain will we'll be skipping in, in that great day. day. Oh, mountain, mountain will be skipping in that great day. day. No mountain will we'll be skipping on that. Great day, oh, who shall be a stand? Will you be ready on that great day? Oh, will you be, be ready, ready on that 
great day. Will you be ready on that great day? Oh, who shall be able to stand? Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. He's coming back, Saint. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's coming back. Mm. How did I know that? Because he said it. Yes. And he's not a God. That yes. Died. Yes. Will you be ready? Thank you. Will you be ready? Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the twinkle. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. we, mm -hmm. praise mm -hmm. we praise you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Give him the praise. Hey! Praise and honor. Yes. Feel like praising him. Yes. Somebody ought to feel like praising this morning. Yes. We say what he's done for you. Uh huh. Praise him. Oh, I feel like praising, praising, praising him. him. Well, I feel, I feel like, like praising, praising, praising him. him. I'm going to praise, praise him in the morning. Praise him all day long because I feel like praising, praising him. If you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me. Well, if you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me. I'm going to praise him in the morning. Well, praise him all day long because I Feel like praising, praising him. Hallelujah. I feel like praising. Yes. Even if you don't feel like praising, hey! just start praising. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just praising. Yes, just start Lord. praising. Thank you, Jesus. You get up in the morning, just don't For feel I know. just right. Just start yes. praising the Lord. Yes. Just try it. Mm -hmm. Good mess. Good mm. mess for praise, Lord, <laughs> for whatever ailing you. Lord, good if, medicine. If, you, if mm. you're down, mm -hmm, start mm -hmm. praising the Lord. Before you know it, you'll be dancing. Call him. You'll be dancing. Call him. Because he's that kind of God. Mm -hmm. Call on him. Yes. Call on hey. him. Hey. Call on him. What are you near? Always Call near. Him. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We'll never. Thank you, Lord. When you think about the goodness forsaken. of it, where he brought you from. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. he brought you, what he taught you. Where yes. He Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We praise you this morning, Lord. Thank you. Because you're worthy of praise. Worthy. Oh, you're so worthy, Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're so worthy, Lord. We just thank, thank you, Lord. you. Thank you what you've done for us, mm. what you're doing, and what you're going to do, Lord. We just thank you, and we praise you, holy name. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy to be praised, Lord. Thank you, dear Father God, for your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And he sent another comfort, the Holy Spirit, to be in us alongside us, to teach us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Convict us when we do wrong. We fall down and mm -hmm. uh, get into things we don't need to be coming mm -hmm. out of there. Come on up. Yes. Pick us up and start mm -hmm. us out again. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. That's the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So get ready. Get mm -hmm. ready. Get ready. Get ready. The next voice you're going to hear is going to be the pastor. Mm. Bring us to you. The word. Mm -hmm. it's the word that's going to keep us saying. Yes. The word's going to take us to be with the Lord one day. His word. His word. Hallelujah. You can stand on it. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. Stand on this thing. You can take it with wherever you go. Stand on it. Mm -hmm. Because it's solid. On this solid rock I stand. It's not like sinking sand. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's in your hands, Brother Pastor. Yes. So I feel like, like praising, praising him. I feel, feel like, like praising, praising him. him. I'm, I'm going to praise him in the morning. Praise him all day long. Because I feel like praising, praising him. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we need you. Father, we need you. Well, this is an hour that, Lord, we need you. We need to hear from on high because we're doing the best we can with what we have, but we find ourselves coming up short. But with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. So glad that I hear my brother say, he came down my street. Well, let me go a little deeper. 
while I was yet deep in my sin. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Mm. Yes. When I was in uh, ICU for three days, didn't know where I was or what was going on, but he was present. He watched over me. My granddaughter was there, Sarah, watching over me, but I had something more powerful than her. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. What a friend. I'm so glad that that deacon sung that song, Deacon Jackson. What a friend we have in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm so glad that you show yourself when, whenever I'm down or I need something, you show yourself. Oh, Lord. I'm so glad that I met Pastor West. I'm so glad that he says, let me disciple you, Brother English. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, while I was yet in my sin, he asked me to come to church. <laughs> he said he thought that I was saved because the way I conducted myself around him, but God didn't let him see the real me. So glad. I'm so glad. That what he saw, he he made come to pass by introducing me to Jesus and Jesus introducing me to his father. Lord, I thank you. Father, I lift my wife to you and ask you to touch her on all sides. I lift Sister Jackson, Mary, to you and ask you to touch her, Lord. Touch her, Lord. Touch her, Lord, as only you can touch her. You know, touch them feet, knees, hips, whatever. And then touch that spirit for it. Holler out. What? Thank you, Jesus. Touch her, Lord, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. And we're going to shout when she says, I come, I come running. I think about my, my aunt, my father's uh, older sister. She had diabetes and they cut one of her legs off. And then they told her, going to have to cut the other leg off. And before they did that, she was in church. And she says, the next time you see me, I'm going to be walking down the aisle. This is a lady who was getting ready to get her second leg cut off. Oh, Lord. And, 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 and I wasn't present. But people told me that she come walking down the aisle with both legs gone. It's two artificial legs and two canes. She come walking. See, that's faith. Hey, I don't care what you do to this shell. You can't hurt me. You cannot hurt me because I have a I have a I have a glorified body waiting. Hmm. I have a glorified body waiting. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What a friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now. I did not talk to Deacon Jackson, but my title is, Are You Friendly? My title is, Are You Friendly? And the first song, Brother Jackson said, it's been on his heart. What a friend we have in Jesus. My text is coming from the book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter. The 24th verse. That's the last verse in, in chapter 18. Proverbs, the 18th, the 24th chapter. Look what it says. 18, Proverbs 18, 24. Now you out there listening in, I want you to get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. See? And see if what the preacher's saying is coming from the Bible. Get your Bibles. Pastor used to always say, Brother English, you got your sword? I said, yes. He said, where is it? I said, it's in the sleeve. He said, take it out. 
So your sword is your Bible. Take it out. Take it out. Let me say this uh, because I thought it was kind of funny, but it was so true. This young man, I'm just talking, so give you a chance to get to Proverbs 18, 24. It was a young man, and he was so happy that he's going to be on his own. He was going to college. He could go and come as he pleased. And his mother told him, well, you know, she was going to send a little money whenever she could to him. And uh, she told him, here's this Bible. I want you to read it. Anytime you get in trouble or anything, times ain't going right. And uh, he said, I want you to read your Bible. He said, okay, mama. And he went off to college. Well, uh, financial things began to catch up with him, and they told him that uh, you need X number of dollars to continue in college. And when you pay that money, you got to pay some more money or you can't take your finals. And he called his mom and mama said, Did you, have you read your book? Have you read your Bible? Read your Bible, whatever going on. And so he hung up and, you know, she said, you know, uh, I'll see what I can do. Well, came down to the last moment and he called his mama again and said, Mama, they're going to put me out of school. Mama said, have you read your Bible? He said, go and get your Bible and read your Bible. Hung up on it. He went and got his Bible and opened it up. And it was money all through the Bible. His mother had put money in the Bible. See, do you read your Bible? There is answers to every question that you have is in the Bible. But you got to read it. It's Bible. Read it. One of the things I, I did in uh, in uh, Bible study, I told the people to put a piece of money in the Bible. And uh, 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 one person said he looked through the Bible and they had over $100 just from coming to Bible study and putting a few dollars in the Bible. See, this book is a lie. This book is a lie. And the Holy Ghost is real. Because the Holy Ghost told Brother Jackson, put it on his heart. I want you to sing that song. What a friend we have in Jesus. In Proverbs 18, 24, it says, a man that have friends must show himself friendly. And there's a friend that they closer than a brother. So we all get off on the same page. Turn your Bible to the book of John. Go to that 15th verse. The one that Pastor West told me to memorize. John 15. And after you get to John chapter 15, go down to that 15th verse. Amen. Go down to John 15, 15. And it says, henceforth I call you not a servant. For the servant knows not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I've heard of my father. I have made known to you. Henceforth, I call you friends. Henceforth, I call you friends. He says, uh, and back up to 13, he said, Greater love have no man than this, that he may, that the man lay down his life for his friend. Did Jesus lay down his life for us? He laid down his life for us. Then he rose for us. If he does not rise, he's not the son of God. He rose for us, but it cost him everything he had. It cost him everything that he had. Proverbs 17, 17, go there. Proverbs 17, 17. 
Proverbs 17. It says, a friend loveth at all times. A friend loveth at all times. See, sometimes people say, you know, Brother Ingus, I have fair weather friends. When things are going good for me, they show up. And I, I, I told, uh, I was testifying one day and I said, you know what? I had more friends when I was in the world. I had more friends, but see, they were fair weather friends because they know that they could always come by my house and get a drink. They could always, and our parties, we'd always have parties and people would show up. But once I got saved, hey, didn't have no drink for them. Didn't have no parties for them. They slowly but surely didn't come no more. Fair weather friends. See, he said, a friend. I, I, what, what kind of friend is it? A friend loving at all times. Now, it says that, uh, that uh, look what it says. It says, uh, uh, a man has a friend must show himself friendly. That's so important. And you know, Jesus used this something. He, he, he used the good Samaritans to show us how you have to show yourself friendly. That was a man who had been beat up and robbed and laying on the side of the road. A priest came by and saw him and crossed over to the other side of the road. A Levi, who represent the church, he came by and kept going. Now, a Samaritan is a, is a, uncircumcised heathen. That's what a Samaritan is. But this man saw him, got down off his beast, went, cleaned him up and wrapped him up and took him to the inn so they could doctor on him. And he got ready to leave. He says, uh, here's some money to, to, to pay for whatever he needs. And if it Toss anything more on my way back through. Hey, on my way back through. You must show yourself friendly. Now, you know, uh, I, 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 since I've been in Christ, I've met a lot of people who show themselves friendly. My pastor, Pastor West, he had what I call a killer smile. When you, when, when, when you see him, you just want to be friendly. And uh, then uh, got another person that I met. And I got a whole bunch. I'm just going to tell you about two. Uh, Deacon Jackson. He'll, I don't have it. Uh, he'll walk up on anybody and start a conversation. It says you have to show, to be a friend, you have to show yourself friendly. See, 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 a lot of things I don't have. But once I, get to know you. I'm a friend, like the Bible says. He says, he says, he says, he loveth at all times. See, I know uh, one time uh, 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 my brother say uh, he wanted to borrow some money and I told him no. See, I don't loan money to people who said they was going to pay me, don't pay me back. See, if you tell me just give you something, I'll give, I'll give it to you. Most people don't think you'll give it to them. That's why they say loan it to me. But see, if you're a friend, you'll give somebody something. See? And if they give it back, that's fine. If they don't give it back, that's fine. But if they use the word loan, see? And, 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 and that's what my brother did. He says, loan me. But I know his, his record. He, was, he wasn't going to pay it back. And this is what he said. One of those church people asked you for some money, you'd give it to them, and I would. So he wasn't telling, he wasn't lying. He told the truth. See, he told the truth. He told the truth. You must show yourself friendly. You must show yourself friendly. He said, he said, he says, uh, see, a friend is, is, is a close attachment or love. See, a friend, uh, uh, David said that 
his, his friendship was, with Jonathan was greater than the love of a woman. Now, he wasn't talking about his wife. He was talking about just a, a woman in general. And no matter how much you love that person, that you was friend to that lady, it wasn't like the relationship he had with Jonathan. See? And that's the way it is. Some, some, see, see, a friend is there in the good and bad times. I, you can go to your friend and tell, like I told Pastor West, he says, he said, he said, Brother English, uh, 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 there's some things that uh, that uh, I won't tell you. I told him, Pastor West, I would tell you anything. Because, see, I very, very, very early in my wall, once I, I told Jesus, he already knew, but once I told Jesus, I don't have nothing. Whatever you say, I would say, you know what? That's true. But that happened 30 years ago. Tell me something that happened in the last 30 years. Okay, that I would be ashamed of. But see, I'm not ashamed. I did it. Yes, I did it. But guess what? I went to the Lord. He forgave me. Hey, see, so he said, he said, he said, all that as far as the east to the west. And I will bring it up no more. That's what a friend does. Don't bring it up no more. See, when, when somebody come to me with, some, with, with a bad report on me, it's the devil. Or the person is allowing the devil to use them because I tell them, okay, yeah, I did that. I'm a grown man. Yes, I did it. And, 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 and I feel bad about it. If, if, if I could change it, I would, but I can't change it. It's dumb. See, it's dumb. Say, but say, 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 brother English, pastor, say, brother English, uh, this brother called me and say that you threatened him, said some harsh words to him. I said, yeah, I did it. He said, I want you to go over there and apologize to him. He didn't say, well, he did so-and-so. That's why you did. No. Mm -mm. He said, go and apologize to him. He said, and once you apologize, leave. Don't carry on no more conversation. Well, I went there and I told the person that I was sorry for what I did or what I said. And uh, please forgive me. He said, the only reason you came over here to say that is because Pastor West told you tried to hook me. I said, thank you. Uh, I just asked you to please forgive me. Got in my car and drove away. See, sometimes you can linger too long. It's just like, it's just like God told the man, he said, I want you to go and uh, talk to this man. I don't want you to eat dinner with him. I just want you to talk to him. And then I want you to leave before dark. Well, a man got over there and got to talking and he was having such a good conversation. The man said, stay for dinner. And he stayed for dinner because, you know, he didn't want to offend the man. And he left. And he ran into a bear. He ran and got away from the bear. And then he ran into a lion. And the lion ate him. See, when God tells you to do something, he means do exactly what he said and leave. Pastor told me, go and apologize and leave. Because if you stay, and the man said, and see, that made me mad. I shouldn't say mad. It upset me when he said the only, and it, but what he said was the truth. I went there because the pastor told me. See? And to show that, that, that the ask for forgiveness don't hurt you at all. Matter of fact, it frees you. So you don't have to carry that, that, that wagon of madness or upset with somebody. Let it go. Jesus said, Jesus asked far from the east to the west. Let it go. And don't bring it up no more. Because somebody told me, say, you know, Brother English, uh, I, uh, I, 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 I forgave the person, 
No, uh, I accepted the person's uh, asking for forgiveness, but uh, but I, I still remember what he said. Let me tell you something. Forgiveness means to forget. Ah, brother, I can't forget that. Well, you ain't forgave. See? Then you haven't forgave. See? Forget. It's like I, uh, 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 if I'm counseling a couple and they bring up something that happened 10, 12 years ago, I say, wait a minute. Did you forgive the person for that when that happened 12, 15 years ago? Yeah, I forgave them, but I didn't forget. Well, I said, well, no, 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 no. Let's get this thing straight. Forgiveness means to forget. If you don't forget, that means you haven't forgiven. And I said, what you have to do is you have to go to the Lord and ask them for help. I said, Lord, so-and-so did something to me. It hurt me real bad. Then, then the Lord would ask you, was it unto death? And you say, no, it wasn't unto death. Then it's forgivable. See, if it wasn't unto death, then it is forgivable. It says, a friend loveth how long? At all times. See? Everybody in the church is my brother, sister, mother, or an elder. And 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 and, and like one of the mothers told my mother, says, uh, you're gonna have to share with me. Now that that that's high. That's high. The mothers of the church were so up undergirding me and say, Brother English, I, uh, I prayed for you last night. And I prayed for you this morning that you would hear from on high and we would hear what the Lord has to say to us. Pray it in advance. That's what you do. You don't tear down a brother or a sister or a mother. You lift them up. You lift them up. See, you must show yourself friendly. Anybody can fall. I can fall. But I pray that it's somebody to come and lift the brother up. Say, Brother English is going to be all right. See, Brother English is going to be all right. See, I sometimes, I say, oh, or, or, or just a pat on the back. Or, or, or somebody hug you and, and, and pat you on the back. Hey, it's gonna be, brother, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. See? The sun is going to come up tomorrow. See? God says as long as the sun comes up and there's night, you know that there's a, there's a, there's a chance. You see, there's a chance. Uh, 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 uh. You cannot have friends and you're not friendly. See? You know, uh, uh, one of my neighbors, you know, he was uh, just, 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 just a mean person. He was just a mean person for probably the first 25 years I lived across the street from him. I prayed for his wife when she had cancer. He was going into for a triple bypass. I prayed for him. But he was just mean. He just mean. He was mean to his daughter and his grandson. And uh, But these last couple of years, when he got into his 80s and had a couple of knee surgeons, couldn't take care of himself. He began to mellow out. Every time he see me, he wave and, you know, want me to talk to him and, and stuff like that. Before, oh no, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, he was rough. But like I told my daddy, I said, uh, you know, so-and-so is, is a mean old lady or a mean old man. And my dad told me they were mean kids. They were mean kids. It, it was nothing new. This is, this is a lifestyle. But a friend, hey, a friend. I just, uh, I just look, look, go back over here to John 15 again. And, uh, and uh, 15, 15, it says, uh, no, let's look at uh, 13. Mm-hmm but I got to read 12, but I'm 13 and 15. What I wrote. He said, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. A friend love at all times. He says, uh, there's greater love has no man than this. 
that a man lay down his life for a friend. Now, see, 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 you have to, you have to put that out. He said, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. See, there's a cost to friendship. See, Jesus says, I call you my friends. But what are you supposed to do? He says what you're supposed to do is you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command. He's talking about what the book says. He's talking about what the book says. See? He's talking about the book says. And he says that he would, he would tell us everything we need to know. He says that's what separates a friend from a servant. He said that's what separates a friend from because there's some things you won't tell a servant. But a friend. See, that's what, see, see, I don't have no secrets. I don't have no secrets. See, 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 if you ask me, I don't have no secrets if you ask. Brother English, I heard that you did blah, blah. Yeah, I did it. But that was 32 years ago. See, 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 I, I, my record was a sinner. <laughs> my record was a sinner. See, hey. But 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 the last 30 plus years, I've been trying to walk this lifestyle, this Christian lifestyle, trying to mimic whenever I could Jesus, trying to mimic when I could what Pastor West did, trying to mimic what Deacon Jackson did, try to mimic, see, try to mimic what I saw some other people do, try to mimic what I saw Mother Townsend do. Say, 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 Brother English, I brought this guy into the house. They called him a bush man because he lived in the weeds. Ah, see, I can't show myself that friendly. See, 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 I, I, I've let people come stay with me, but I, I, it's a time limit. If you tell me you need six months, I'm going to give you six months. Tell me you need 90 days, I'm going to give you 90 days. Tell me you need a year, I'm going to give you a year. But I expect something. I expect you preparing, be preparing to leave. See? Don't wait till the last minute and say, well, uh, yeah, I got to start saving now. No. See? You have to start saving from day one. See? Are you friendly? That's a question. Are you friendly? Say, yeah, Brother English, uh, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. I say, uh, come take me to the hospital. Well, I'm busy right now. I say, oh, Lord. So okay. I say, well, can you pick my medicine up at the drugstore? No, I can't. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't do that right now. I say, well, I need to go to emergency. Call the ambulance, then, brother. Okay. 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 A close attachment. Love. How do you express love? See? See, 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 if I got gas, I'm coming. <laughs> if I got gas, I'm coming. I, I, but I, I said, wait a minute, brother, I'm going to take a little longer because I got to stop by the gas station. But no, Lord put it on my heart that I don't let my cars get on the half tank. Here lately, I went to the a couple times. It was down in the quarter tank. But you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not like I. I'm not as sharp as I used to be. See, things takes a little longer to do than I, I used to do because I, I. I forget some things. They're not. A, they're not a, a a high enough priority. See, uh, my computer is is old. See, see, it's it's not. But you know what? That let the. To 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 the, the Bible, brother Jack. Friend is in the Bible fifty five times. Friend is in the Bible fifty five times. Forty nine verses talking just about friends. See, forty nine verses. A friend talking about a friend. Look what look uh uh in 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 the book of Ruth. 
chapter one, verse 16, it says, this is Ruth talking. For whether thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. But this is the thing. Thy people shall be my people. And thy God, my God. See, that's what a friend. See, 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 I'm saved. So I want all my friends and loved ones to do what? To accept Christ. I don't want none of my friends and loved ones to go to hell. But I know some are. But I don't want it. It's like God says, it, 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 it's not my will that any should perish. But I don't want, there will be nobody in heaven that don't love me. Oh, Lord. A third of the angels and Lucifer left. See? They rebelled. Excuse me, I shouldn't say left. They were kicked out. But, 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 but Lucifer and the, his, his angels can go to heaven anytime they want. And only go to tell God, well, you know, Brother English did so and so, so and so. And it might be a bad thing that I did. God looks over at Jesus. God looked over at Jesus and Jesus said, he's one of mine. Hey, he's one of mine. God said, I find no fault with him because he's covered with the blood. See, see, I mess up all. I, I mess up all the time. A lot of the times I tell people, you know, I may sin just coming downstairs. But guess what? When I pray, I try to remember for say this, for known and unknown sins. See? I may not do it, but God knows my heart. Hey, see, God knows my heart. So, so he covers that. He covers that. He says, a man that has friends must show himself friendly. Must show himself friendly. I, I, you know, you got to. And you see, that's three different definitions of friends. It says a man who has friends, talking about the friends that he has, must show himself friendly. That's back on him. Then he says, he says, and there is a friend. That's a whole nother definition. A friend that'll stick closer to you than a brother. Closer to you than a brother. And I have met some friends. Oh, Lord. Mm. I met some friends. And I met some, some brothers. I'm not talking about blood brothers. Because, see, blood brothers, hey, they, they, they born to, 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 to rub you the wrong way. They're born to rub you the wrong way. Look, go back over to, uh, to, 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 to Proverbs 17. Go back over to Proverbs 17, 17. And I purposely didn't, 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 didn't read this last part. Purposely didn't do it. Proverbs 17, 17. Now, Proverbs 17, 17. That last part says, and a brother is born for adversity. He's born for adversity. See, see, uh, some, sometimes we have a real, real close relationship with, with a brother. And then another brother, we don't have that kind of relationship. You see? Because they're born for adversity. Is, is the pecking order, see the pecking order. Usually in a family, the the eldest child gets more than anybody else, and then the baby child comes along, and the older child is gone. Now all that attention is on the baby. Now where are those children in between? They saw the older child get something that they didn't get. Then here this baby coming in here. Uh, when is my turn going to be? So adversity is set in there. And to show you that it can get ugly if it's not dealt with. Jesus asked uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, what's his, what's, God asked uh, Cain, where is thy brother? Where is thy brother? Where is thy brother? See, Cain slew Abel because he was jealous of Abel. But God told him this, and I want all of you to hear this, and I want you to listen real good. God says if, if you don't get it right, sin lies at the door. Talking about the devil. And every time you go in, you're going to sin. Now, he, 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 just like a bad dog, you know, you know that he chained up, and you see him every day, and he see you every day. Sooner or later, you're going to go over there and brush him. And he's going to lick you. See? He's at the door. And he, he's waiting for you to befriend him. He says, if you do well, this is what God said to Cain. If you do well, you'll be thought well of. A friend must show himself friendly. See? He got to push up on you. Woo! And you got that killer smile. Hey. See? A drawer. That's, that's your drawer. That, that, that smile. That's your drawer. And some people, just the way they talk to you. How you doing? How you doing, brother? I ain't your brother. Thank you. Well, well, go on. <laughs> go on then. Go to the next person. How you doing? Oh, man, man, I'm just doing just great. And you get somebody else. Say, you know what? I fell down and hurt myself. And so can I pray with you? Show yourself friendly. Show yourself friendly. Uh, I'm so glad my son, my, my, my son, Herbie, from a little boy to this day, he loves everybody. He loves everybody. And, and as a little boy, he meets somebody and he be said, Pop, Daddy, can I play with the person? And we driving across the road. We just at a rest stop. And uh, uh, Joanna's getting sandwiches ready or, or I've got something on the grill. And, and uh, he's running around playing with other kids. And I said, Herbie, come on. We, we can ready to leave. He said, Daddy, I want to play with my friends a little longer. I said, well, no, come on. He come over to the, to the, to the van and we getting ready to pull off. He says, uh, I said, Who, what's, that, what's the little boy or little girl name? He said, I don't know, Daddy. They just my friends. So they don't know their name. Woo, show yourself friendly. And then another gift that I don't have. See, some people can remember people's name and see, show yourself friendly. I, my, I was so important to you that you remember my name. Well, I don't, I don't have that, but I do have faces. I remember faces. I may can't pull your name up, but I remember faces. I know me and Brother Jackson was talking uh, uh, last Sunday, and Enox is the one name that we couldn't come up with. He walked. Hey. <laughs> see, 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 see. But it'll come to you. That's one thing God said, I will bring it to your remembrance. But he can't regurgitate if you haven't read. Like that little boy. I mean, like that, that, that young man that went to college. See? He thought, well, I can do what I want to do and, and come and go as I please. He messed up his money, which his mother knew he was going to do. But she told him, anytime you run in trouble, go to your Bible. Now that boy ain't opened that Bible not one time. He ain't opened that Bible not one time. But finally, when his mother hung up on him and told him, read your Bible, because you haven't read your Bible, he opened up the Bible, and as he looked through the Bible, he found money. He found all the money that he needed to pay for school and to pay to. To, 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 to take his finals. See, God has everything for us. He said, Brother Ignis, the reason I haven't answered your prayer is because this calls for you to fast. Pray and fast. Uh, my brother was uh, going to have, uh, had cancer of the liver and he was going to have surgery. He was going to try to zap it with radiation or chemo, I don't, I don't remember which. But I told him, I'm going to pray and fast for you. 
I'm going to pray and fast for you. See, sometimes we have to do the max because we're asking for great things. We're asking for great. Uh, 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 see, God, I, 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 I want you to heal brother or sister so-and-so. We'll see the, to, 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 to make it stronger. I said, I'm going to fast. I'm going to go without while I'm praying. See, I'm going to go without while I'm praying. He said, he says, he says, a man that has friends must show himself friendly. Everything costs. Jesus says, uh, I must go to the cross and bear the sins of the world, past, present, and future. He said, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. That was the man talking. But 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 when the Lord spoke, when that God man spoke, he said, not my will. See, we 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 got this thing all wrong. See, I can be your friend. You don't necessarily have to be my friend. See, because I'm your friend. Jesus says, if you're my friend, do my commandments. But he says up front. From this day hence, I'm going to call you friends. But to qualify for that, you have to follow his command. He said, he said, love thou me. And you say, yes, Lord, I love you. He said, love thou me. Yes, Lord, I love you. Love thou me. See? Yes, Lord, feed my sheep. Feed my lambs. Then feed my sheep. See? It costs something. It costs something. This walk. But see, this, 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 I just went through a, 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 a terrible experience. But I didn't go by myself. Ooh, and I know a whole bunch of people was praying for me. A whole bunch of churches was praying for me. And I've come up. I haven't come out, but I've come up. Ooh, I can look back and say, you know what, Lord? He was with me all the time. He said, that's the kind of friend he is, Brother Jack. I will never leave you or forsake you. What kind of friend is that? Are you that kind of friend? Are you that kind of friend? Do you show yourself friendly? Are you friendly? God is asking, are you friendly? Are you friendly? You said so. For whether thou goest, I'll go. Wherever thou lodges, I'll lodge. Oh, Lord, your people shall be my people. Your God shall be my God. Show yourself friendly. Let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you for being God all by yourself, Lord. We thank you. You are so good and special to us. Lord, we just don't know what we do without you. But I'm so glad that that's not one of my worries because I know you're forever with me. I know where I go, you've already gone. He says, I'll be in front of you, I'll be on beside you, and I'll be behind you. That triune God. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask you to continue to, to bless one Lord and bless my brother. Deacon Jackson, bless uh, Mark and Lupe, and send them this way. Lift my wife up to you, Lord, and give her the strength to, to say no matter what pain I'm going through. See, in the natural, we go to the emergency ward. Well, the church, hey, is the emergency Lord. Ward, don't, don't, don't forsake it. Come to the church and be healed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. Oh, God has 
Follow me. He has set me free. God has follow me. He's, He's been, been good. good. Been so good. He's been good. Been so good mm -hmm. to me. God Hallelujah. God has yes, Lord. He smiled, smiled on, me. on me. Good message, been Brother Pastor. Good. I hope everyone was listening. Including myself, mm -hmm. I was listening. Not only are we listen or uh, hear, but we have to be doers. Mm. That's important. That's important. Yes, Lord. You know, the gang friend, you have to be a friend. Sometimes, uh, I'm gonna, before I give the benediction, I had a neighbor who got angry with me and uh, about something. I think I know what it was, but anyway, he stopped speaking. He just drive by when he, like he would speed up when he come by my house. <laughs> but I didn't stop speaking to him. I'd wave at him. Sometimes I get almost in the street. I think I might have told you this story. And I just kept waving, kept waving. And he became my best friend. Mm. Now, we could have been enemies if I had just took on the same attitude he had. Mm -hmm. But that's not the way we do it. You know, we, we have to be friends. To, have to be friends to the friendless. That don't mean you uh, just force yourself on it, but it just it don't it, it it's nothing wrong with say good morning. Uh, it's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to cook them a dinner if you have to do that to get sick. Cook them a dinner, <laughs> take it over, <laughs> give it to them, and, and leave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But just think about what Jesus did for us. Lord have mercy. He died for us. Mm. He suffered for us. And we don't want to even say good morning to one mm. another. Mm. But just think about it. If you let's just think about that. And some people don't even, they treat their own family that way. Mm -hmm. I know family don't even talk to one another. Lord have mercy. And that's 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 sad. That's ugly. That, that's sad. But it, it don't hurt you to say hi to an, anyone. Anyone. I've uh, I've had people say, I, well, I, I, maybe I should stop. My wife said, you, you talk to everybody. You need to leave people alone. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But it just, I find myself, it's just me. You go ahead. It's just me. I, I can't. It just come automatic. Brother, <laughs> it's, just, it's just automatic. I just can't walk by a person, see a person and not say anything. Mm -hmm. so I see him sitting on the bench. I might go and say, how you doing today, sir? Man, you know, I don't do women too much that week. I don't know. Uh, but uh, it doesn't hurt me any, you know. That's high. It's it just, it just me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And good put, spirit. And the Lord put things in all of us. Mm-hmm. And if you're not that way, don't feel bad. Because the Lord has some things in you that I don't have in me. <laughs> we, we all are different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because if we all are the same thing, maybe we wouldn't get things done. Because we, we're supposed to be the light for the world. Come on. And people have different attitudes. And we should have in us how we work, how we operate to talk to people. Mm -hmm. to fix up that way. You know, just like if everybody was a preacher, I would, where, where are the teachers? <laughs> you know, in other words, where are the deacons? So we have to have the Lord put different things in us. Just mm -hmm. exercise whatever the Lord gave. That's what we have to do. He's good. He's got it right. Yes. The Lord is good. He's worthy of praise. Worthy. Worthy to be praised. Hey! Worthy to be Thank praised. Thank you. That's a good message again. I'll, you know, I'll say it again. You can't beat the word. The word will get you where you need to be. It'll take you where you need to go. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. God's word. Not anybody's word. God's word. Hallelujah. And it's true. I know it's true. Why? Because I know what it did for me. Mm -hmm. Anybody be in Christ, your new creation. Old things have passed away. Old all things become new. Do I have everything right? No. But when I sin, the Holy Spirit jumped right on me and completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I do? I get it right. I confess. 
And I know I've I know I've been changed because before I would I wouldn't say I'm sorry. That wasn't even <laughs> my vocabulary. I didn't even know what saying sorry was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, like I did what sinners do. Say it. I didn't go out and rob anybody, but mm -hmm. you don't have to. That's not, that's not gonna keep because you don't rob anybody. That's not gonna get you in heaven. <laughs> if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that he died and was raised from the dead, you're not going in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You told me, you know, I wasn't so bad. You wasn't? Okay. All you have to do is just be born in the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all you have to do. Yes. You can do everything right after that. Mm -hmm. If you don't confess Christ Jesus, you believe that he died. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But raised from the dead. Hey! You know, confess your sin and mm. repent of him. Mm. Ask him to come into your heart and save you. You're not going any place. I don't care what you haven't done, what you haven't said. You haven't cursed nobody out or whatever. You didn't drink anything, you didn't smoke anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might as well did you should have you, <laughs> might, you could have did it all, you know, because you missed something. Uh -huh. That won't that won't get you into mm -hmm. heaven. God got a way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all to in his way is the only way to the Father. I think it's John 14, 6, I think. I am the way, truth, and the life. No man. Mm -hmm. No man. Except by me. No mm -hmm. man. You got to go through him. Yes. I'm you glad about it. Go through him, saints. Mm. Read it. John 14, 6. If you're listening, write it down and read it. Mm -hmm. Dear Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank yes, you for Father. Your How can you hear? Without a preacher, how can they preach unless they sin? We mm. Lord, sent pastors that you have sent, Lord, that you have sent out to teach the gospel. The good news. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we just praise your name and glorify your name. Again, we lift up First Lady, touch her, mm -hmm. out of her head to the sole of her feet. Hallelujah. Bless her, strengthen the Lord. Let her know God. Let her know God that you are a healer. You said, mm -hmm. I'm God. Mm -hmm. so we just thank you and praise you. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Crystal. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the, for the word. Hallelujah. May the love of God and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide until we all meet again and in the church say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Go in peace. Hallelujah.